So today is Friday, uh, February 2nd, and I just came home to a package from Nick Horton, or Brick, as I would like to say. And I ordered their shirts, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like, and I'm gonna help them, you know, promote this merchandise and support their ship. Um, but look what he did. He put a smiley face on my name, which is pretty cool. <laughs> me welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about how to stalk your favorite celebrity um, it's really simple you just need a few things mainly social media and a tenacity and the drive to go and find them um, at their location so stay tuned so this past weekend um, my two favorite youtubers was on a trip to Los Angeles for just the weekend so I thought I was going to be able to see them. They are Nick Horton and Brandon. I can't pronounce his last name, so if anyone wants to help me, that would be nice. Um, I wanted to see if I could see them or get an autograph, just to take a picture with them because they're so, they've inspired me in my life and my videos and they make funny videos, um, especially Nick. He makes funny videos that I'm always eager to watch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. <laughs> Um, and I also ordered their merchandise, Brick, hashtag Brick. So I'm excited about that. And so I was hoping that I could catch them. Um, unfortunately, I did fail. Aww. I know, I failed. So I spent most of Sunday trying to find out where they're going to be. They said they were going to be in Hollywood. So, you know, you just follow their social media, basically to find a celebrity, a YouTube star, anyone, just social media. It helps from Instagram, the Instagram story, their Snapchat story, and their Twitter to see like if they're tweeting in a specific location or they're posting something on their story and you know, it tells you like it was posted a minute ago so you know like if you're in that area, you're not too far away. For example, they posted that they were at the Walt Disney, you know, the Star Walk of Fame in Hollywood Boulevard. I was in that area. However, I did not know exactly where Walt Disney Star was located. I went to the El Capitan. I saw, you know, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Winnie the Pooh. Did not find Mickey. And then they didn't, you know, they didn't snap for a while. And that was because they were on a tour. So I was kind of disappointed. I thought they were going to go to the Grove, but they didn't have enough time. So in the end, I was so close to seeing them because we were both, I think, at Hollywood Boulevard at the same time. But when I was trying to find them, they were probably already paying a ticket to go on an L.A. Hollywood tour. Which, by the way, is pretty worth it. I mean, you could bargain for like $20 for a two-hour tour in a nice van on a hot summer day. It's pretty sweet. They take you literally everywhere from, you know, Mulholland Drive up in LA to see the Hollywood sign, to the Hollywood homes in Beverly Hills, um, to the Grove, the Rodeo Drive, everything about that. So those tours are fun. There's also a TMZ tour to check out too. And I'm digressing now though. But in the end, I was really sad that I didn't get to see them. Hopefully they come back to LA um, and I can see them because that would be awesome. But today, Friday, February 2nd, I was able to open my mailbox and I got the shirt that I ordered from them. So I'm excited. Team Brick. So I'm going to open it because it's supposed to be signed by Nick and also sprayed with his cologne. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I will see how this works. Stay tuned for that. Give me one second. <laughs> so I just opened a little bit about it, and it smells bomb. It smells really good. If that's what he smells like, that's pretty awesome. I feel like I have this cologne, or I had it a long time ago, but now I don't use it, so I'm excited. So this is what the shirt is looks like. Can you see it? Can you get the focus? Brick. Hashtag brick. I'm so excited for Nick and Brandon. This is so cool. They're also selling um, their hats now. So if you want to check that out right here. They're selling hats and I don't think they have the shirts anymore. I see the autograph. I was like, where's the autograph? I see it right there. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. I don't know if I'm supposed to like wash this because if I wash it, does it go away? Does it? It, it does, right? Because it's Sharpie. I think it goes away. I don't know. 
confused now. But let's see what this looks like. I'm back. This is what the shirt looks like. Right here. It says brick. So nice. It smells really good. I like it. I feel comfortable. Simple, white and black, always the best. It's very comfy. I'm going to be wearing this to promote their ship and just to promote them. Be like, you don't know who they are? Well, you should. <laughs> so hope you like this video. Um, I will see you next time. Don't forget to love life and live happy. Take care. On a side note, I actually was able to find one YouTuber that I'm not going to name names, their apartment complex. I promise I'm not stalking or creepy. It's just, it was fun to find it and then not do anything about it, I guess, in a weird way. So basically he posted like a tour of his new apartment complex. So like, you know, the house, the leasing office and the gym. And one thing that stuck out was a green patio, and that's kind of rare. You don't see many green patio apartments in LA. And so, you know, you just type in like Google green patio LA, and they do have stuff that pops up. And then you just go through the tour, and then surprisingly, the gym that he was recording had this phrase on the wall, and I just so happened to match the phrase that I saw of the gym on the website, and I was like, Boom. Done. Hire me. Someone hire me. I'm like the new detective. Inspector Gadget. I got it. So that's how I knew where they lived. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs>